Hi guys, I'm Aaron and this is my YouTube channel. Just recently I decided to start vlogging my traveling experience and you are more than welcome to join us on this adventure. Today we're in this hidden secret village in Croatia that is named Rastoke and we're kicking it off with a warm coffee. Besides from the good coffee, what makes this place so unique is that while you're sipping your coffee, water flows beneath your feet and also throughout the restaurant. And it is situated at the edge of the Slunge village. For this, uh, this magnetos, mm -hmm. uh, it is very complicated. I produced uh, 600 pieces. Whoa. I needed seven months. When traveling, we tend to buy locally, especially when it's greeted by these kind-hearted people, but you also get the opportunity to speak to them to learn more about their art and also about their culture. The water that flows to Rastok Cave Village comes by two streams, the Slunchika River and the Korana River. I don't know if I pronounced it right. This is actually my second time here. My dad actually found this place on YouTube, so we visited the first time. I liked it so much that I came for a second time. It's a really beautiful place. Over there is the entrance. This is the biggest apple tree I've seen so far filled with green apples, small ones. This is the entrance for the private property. Over there you can see the Slunchika River flowing waters of the Slunska River coming into the town. You can see the whole town is built above the water. Dobrodan. Entrance ticket for four? Yeah? Um, yes, we actually owe four for students. Yes. This is what I consider a bargain. For only four euros per person we got our entrance ticket. Keep in mind we did get the student discount. Yes, still a student, I'm a student of life. But only for 4 euros we get to witness this beautiful water flowing, gardens, also museum. You can also see the buildings on how the people used to live. So it is definitely a bargain and this is something you want when you travel. When you travel you want to experience as much as possible for as little cost as possible. We just enter and this place is awesome and the water is freezing cold. This is one of the reasons why I started vlogging and why I travel. To test the water, to take pictures, to observe it all, see how the water flows beneath the building, but also everywhere you look you'll find something interesting. As you can see the traditional washer to show you how they did, how they use the river to actually do their washing. the water from the, from one of the two rivers flowing. The water is about 15 Celsius. I'll try not to talk as much to absorb the sound of the waterfall. It's incredible. I live in the city so 
every time I get the chance I try to go to somewhere in nature and absorb it all in and since this place is a hidden gem it, won't, it, it isn't that crowded right now it's like 11 in the morning just us here a lot of people I, I've seen a few of these in Alaska much bigger it's beautiful to have this in the middle of the garden what do you, what do you think of this place so far? Oh, it's, very, very, it's, it's very beautiful it's definitely a hidden gem 10 out of 10 10 out of 10? 11 out of 10 <laughs> What think of this place? Oh, 10 out of 10? Uh-huh. Rishma is still ca camera shy. With the acting of <laughs> <laughs> Follow the villager. So you guys watching Rishma is not our friend. She is actually a villager from this village. Oh this one is cute. I think this is the Porana River. The Kunchika River and Porana River, they all meet together. Welcome to Richmond's Fairy Tale Garden. Richmond's not her friend, but she's a villager. <laughs> If you're a nature lover just like I am, this is the place to be. I won't talk as much, I would let the video flow as the river was flowing that day. And um, what else can I say? The day before we were in Plitvis, this is uh, I think 50 minutes drive from Plitvis. In Plitvis we paid 40 euros to get in, we only paid 4 euros to, to experience Rastoke and I know you cannot compare these two to each other but um, this place for four euros definitely it's a bang for it's a bang for the for the price and it's amazing you need to just come and experience it in, in person you can see the chair spinning with the flow of the water standing under the water and now you'll see this fairy dancing through the flow of the water
Say hi to these villagers. Hi MTV, welcome to our home. Dobre dan. This gives us like an insight of the how the village people used to live. Like an inside view of their home and stuff they used, all the equipment. garden you can find I'm bo uh, my birthday is in July uh, my fairy name is Zora it's number seven so we're going to check this out we're going to find my fairy Zora and you can also read the description what the fairy dogs oh my god I'm an Asian Croatian goddess of dawn and magnified Zora Very tail cave.
We're going to get some food over there. We are hungry. Right, for entrance, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you guys the. As you can see, the houses are built alongside the river. We're constantly hearing the river flowing. Imagine living here. I think it would be awesome. I would fall asleep like within 10 minutes every night with the sound of nature. If you made it this far into the video, I would say thank you for watching. And if you ever get the chance to visit Plitvis, Croatia, don't forget to get a stop in Rastoke because the village is amazing. You're accompanied the whole way with the sound of water. It's beautiful. I'm not a fan of fairies, but I really enjoy the fairies, even though I find them a bit creepy and beautiful. I don't know if, if there's a word to describe that. And as I always say, I'm a traveler, I'm not a vlogger. And as you can see, we arrived at this restaurant and I forgot to film the meal because I was so hungry. But uh, not only the restaurant, the location was good, but the food was delicious as well. So see you next time. Until the next video. Bye guys.